Hello, in this video we'll talk about the principles behind acid fast staining. Acid fast staining is a differential staining method used in microbiology. The stain is used to identify acid fast organisms such as that of in the genus Mycobacterium. In this staining, the acid fast bacteria would appear reddish, whereas the non acid fast bacteria would appear blue. In this video, it would be totally clear what is the basis of this differential coloring. But let's understand what are the acid fast organisms. Acid fast organisms are characterized by the presence of wax like nearly impermeable cell wall. They have very high level of mycolic acid, large amount of fatty acids, waxes and complex lipid which make their cell wall literally impermeable to all the substances. So their cell wall is so much resistant that they don't take up any other stain such as gram stain. And acid fast organisms are highly resistant to disinfectants or dry conditions. And we need to do this kind of acid fast staining to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis. And that's why this is really important from a clinical perspective as well. So let's hit the virtual lab and try to do a acid fast staining. First of all, let's get introduced with the reagents. We need carbolfustein as the primary stain, then methylene blue as the counter stain. There would be acid alcohol, which would be the decolorizing agent. There would be uh, distilled water for washing purposes and some other reagents like pipette, forceps, all of these things would be very common to any microbial lab. So first step involves smearing the sample on a slide. Here the patient derived sample would be smeared on a particular slide and we are expecting that this particular sample might have mycobacterium tuberculosis in that. At the end of this video we would understand whether it has it or not. So the primary stain would involve carbolfuscine. Carbolfuscine is actually a particular stain which has phenol in it and it can really penetrate even this impermeable mycolic acid containing cell wall. So they would penetrate and get inside the cell wall. Carbolfuscine actually has basic fuscine, ethanol, then phenol, I mean the melt, heat melted melted crystals of phenol and also distilled water. So all the bacteria at this particular step would be colored red with the carbol fuchsin, be it acid fast or be it non acid fast. And this incubation would happen for let's say 30 seconds. After this step, there is a heat fixation step which would fix the stain even further. And it's kind of important such that these bacteria should adhere to the slide and should not wash away when we are adding other reagents. Now in the step 3 we would be using a decolorization agent. After applying this decolorization agent, the bacteria which are non-acid fast cannot retain this carbolfuscin stain. This decolorization agent is very strong and this decolorizing agent contains ethanol and hydrochloric acid. So it would wipe out all the staining from the non-acid fast organisms. Remember the acid fast bacteria has very rigid impermeable cell wall. So actually this decolorizing agent cannot wipe out the stain from these acid fast bacteria. So by the end of this step the acid fast bacteria should retain their red staining whereas the non-acid fast bacteria would fail to retain their carbolfuscin stain. Now in the last step, we would be doing counter staining with a counter stain popularly used known as methylene blue. It's a blue colored counter stain. So obviously the bacteria which has failed to retain carbolfuscin now would take the counter stain methylene blue. Remember, this acid fast bacteria has very impermeable cell wall. So they would not allow methylene blue to stain them. So Acid fast bacteria would retain their red coloration due to carbolfuscin, and the non acid fast bacteria would ultimately take the counter stain methylene blue and thereby they would be they would be visualized as blue cells. So there are two methods used in the microbiology lab. One is Zyle Nielsen method and another is Kinyun method. Both these methods 
are useful for microbiologists. And you can take a look at the reagents really quickly, but I'm not going to get into details of these exact protocols. Now, as per summary, we have used a primary stain carbol fuchsin, which is highly permeable. It, it can even penetrate the almost impermeable cell walls of an acid fast bacterium. Now, after that, we have used a strong decolorizing agent such as acid alcohol, which would wipe out all the stain from non acid fast bacteria. And we have counter stain with methylene blue, where the non acid fast bacteria took a blue stain and the acid fast bacteria has retained their red carbol fuchsin stain. This video tells us what is the basis of acid fast staining and how it is really important for medical microbiologists. You can get all the notes and flashcards in my Facebook page. The link is provided in the description. You can click on the link and don't forget to like that page as well. As usual, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support my channel on Patreon. If you are an Indian viewer, you can support me via the Bheem UPI app. My courses are also present in India's largest online platform, Anacademy. You can use AP10 to get a 10% discount as well. If you wish to connect to me in social media, I'm there in Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. All the social media links are provided in the description. Thank you. See you in the next video.